Okay, so these are for the four seven meter either be ten eight engine. So um the current current got this car and um anyway um I don't know where he got the car anyway, but uh, he decided to have me check the vehicle and then do repairs. So found that uh, when the engine was smoking badly, um, so I decided. But I, I, from the history, I think where he got the car, the timing belt, either the timing belt or the zero belt book, entered and damaged the, the valves. So. So where I, for me, I was like, uh, did he change the valve time? So he said no. I said, well, we need to start from there. It could be the cause of the smoke. Well, it was a blue smoke. Hello. It's affecting the... The music already is affecting the video. Uh, uh, so, so, So I decided to change because normally once you have a timing belt issue and you it damage your valve, you're supposed to change the valve stem seals. So at that point, there's no how the valve stem seals will still be good once your valve has bent and moved. So it will affect it. So we the moment the in that um now from the pistons I'm come I want to take the video. So the person so um, I'm not saying the rings are still in good condition, but it's not as bad as most of the ones I've seen. Yeah, it's shaking a little. Uh, like especially this cylinder, which cylinder one? It has more clearance. You can feel it. But um, this one is still okay, very very okay, still very tight. But this one has more clearance. <coughs> Uh, but it's not doing that as bad. Like I said, compared to some other ones I know I've checked. So this is the most affected cylinder. So the rings have one, and uh, it's possible it has affected cylinder uh, the bore that the cylinder was a little. But considering the extent of blue smoke I saw uh, the first time we brought the vehicle. I don't think this will be the only cause. Even if it's contributing, it won't be the only cause. So those valve them say that uh, we are replaced that we are the most uh, major cause of the smoke. So I've gotten the, of course, the, the, when they did that um, valve replacement, because of the failure of the timing belt, they use uh, those this uh, low quality paper head gasket. So I've got the OEM. OEM head gasket. The timing bell, uh, I can't say for sure if the one they put is the quality one, but I'll leave it for now. Probably I'll start working towards getting the quality one. So, um, from the side of the engine, when I started it, I knew the catalyst had been removed. So, it's empty. The cold inside is empty, there's nothing inside. So, uh, the other decided to get a new one. So this is a new one. We mounted it uh, as you can see the comb inside. So, um, so this is the third one. First, let's try to transfer this to this. Uh, yeah, can I carry it? Uh, hold it. Hold it, cast it. Let me. So what is remaining now is to transfer the heat shield. So the new one from the old one. Oh, so you can carry on. Um, so another thing I observed. Uh, okay, not me personally. It was this uh, was uh, the mechanic I worked with. I observed this. So he said um, why they were working, and uh, so uh, they needed to do something, the battery was still connected, but they've already removed the the fuel line from the fuel ring. So this pipe was no longer connected to the engine. But immediately they opened the driver's door. 
before I started gushing out. Even though the ignition was not even on, the key was not even on the ignition. The United opens the driver's door, phone started gushing out constantly and it didn't even stop. Uh, they shut the door, the fuel will stop coming from the tank. They open the food, that was again, start gushing out again. I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's a very big um, sign of electrical abuse. So, um, looking at this, uh, you can see this is the one they bypassed the fan. I already discussed with him after the, um, this so engine work is done. I'll revert the pan back to factory connection. I uh, also got in a thermostat because obviously they removed the thermostat. In fact, I didn't even bother to check because normally in Nigeria, once they bypass the fan to um, from factory connection, use all this uh, paper gasket, I always assume that the thermostat has been removed. So, um, I'll still check out these wires to be sure they didn't tamper in anything. So this one will better remove it by the time I reverse the fire. But what I'm looking at is this uh, DSM, this is the engine bay fuel plus. It's a low one. So I can't confirm right now if this vehicle is supposed to have this model of fuse plus. Which could be the reason why the fuel pump is behaving that way. It's now so now the fuel pump is the driver's door that is now the trigger of the fuel pump aside when the engine is running so um so what i need to do first to find out first if this vehicle is supposed to have this model of fuel plus for the start uh it's possible because if you put the wrong one yeah the engine might start but then it might mess up the other electronic thing to run the vehicle so um, because this is the control, this controls the fuel pump, the fuel source. Um, so start for, that's where I will start from concerning that. I've checked the connection on the fuel pump itself. Uh, I didn't see anything, uh, any connection there that will cause it. The, the wiring connector on the fuel pump assembly uh, was replaced, but I checked the connection to the new connector was okay so so that would the would out the connection to the pump on that side from that side so this is what i'll look at eventually so um i think um um i think that should be i don't know with i think check here i don't think uh this has anything to do with uh, the fuel pump, the BSI unit. Though I can see there's a connection, uh, non factory connection, but I think this is more like a remote control. For remote control I, think. Uh, I think you're using non factory remote control. Uh, so it, sh it shouldn't affect the fuel pump that way. So, um, I just saw the So this is the, the low quality head gasket that we we'll use, you can see this is the paper one. Um, it works, that's the, that, that, get me wrong, it works, but one thing I do know is over time they fail. Because if I, according to him, when he got the car, um, I think he used it for a while, he started overheating, eventually it was the head gasket that caused it, which means the previous owner in Nigeria change and use the paper gasket and eventually fail again. So that's one thing about this. Uh, even when there's no cause for the head gasket to fail, over time, give it two years, sometimes less, sometimes a little bit more to start overheating. So it's better I just use the OEM. I'm not saying paper head gasket is bad. I'm just saying this engine is meant for use metal um, head gasket. So and uh, also even if you want to do paper one for it even though it's not recommended or meant for it at least uh but get the high quality one not all these uh, low quality ones that don't last and usually they are thicker than the metal ones so over time because the, the quality of the material used not good enough so it start thinning out and then to create uh, a gap 
and uh, we start writing or water will start gushing up from the engine. So I think um, let's uh, take some advice from what all these are pointed out. Um, even the can see that uh, the auxiliary belt, the one they put there is not even the original one. So I've already discussed with you now, we're removing this. Uh, they start, even started peeling off. So it don't affect, uh, cause the same damage that led to uh, damaging the valves. So I'm going to change it, put the OEM, or at least a good quality one. Uh, like I said, for the timing belt, yeah, I can see this is a new timing belt. Um, I don't know the brand, I don't know the quality. So, it will start probably towards the end of the year. One person just start working towards the first Um Alright, so that's all. Yeah, I forgot to add. Um, so, while I was checking the the condition of the the cylinders, so I also checked the the cylinder balls or the cylinder walls. So, um, the cylinder cylinder two and the three. You know, those ones, uh, they've actually, you know, I touched the inside, they have, I would say eating up in deep, but, you know, there's a small uh, sign of wear on those cylinder walls. So, uh, then the cylinder four, touch it as well, you know, I rotated the, the crankshaft, so the crunch, the cylinder piston went down, and uh, put put my finger. Uh, that one, it did. There was a sign of wear on the wall, but not that much. Uh, then cylinder one, cylinder one two, there wasn't that much uh, sign of wear. So in other words, uh, so I think it's cylinder two and three, and uh, four. That, but they just have a small sign of where it could fill the gap a little, so but not as deep uh, or as bad as some of the ones that I've seen. That in fact, the edge will be so the gap will feel so bad that uh, the pieces can't be able to even if with new rings. So I think, um, by, by the time the job will finish, the smoke might still be there, but not that much. Uh, as bad, it won't be as bad as it was when uh, we removed the cylinder head to change the valve stem cells. So, um, in that case, uh, if you change the rings, if I, I could advise the owner to change the rings, um, it might stop the smoke completely. But I know over time it might come up again, but though it might take a while. But the reason why I would not recommend changing the rings because of the... Um, you know, uh, when you look at the history, uh, the extent the car actually was abused. Uh, I could say I could see that is well written all over the engine bay. So it's not just longer about just the cylinders. Uh, even the oil, uh, the owner, from what I could understand, when he got the car, if I don't, it seems maybe I used the car for a while before. I got, uh, he got me wrong. So it's possible that um, obviously that the crankshaft, the camshaft, uh, they've all been affected. The oil pump uh, because they were using the owner used uh, was using 20W50. Uh, well, as of the first time I saw the car, he told me. What he put last was twenty dollars. I think that's what he had been using. So it's also possible the previous owner in Nigeria was also using same oil, which contributed to the wear of the cylinders, and also because of the abuse on the engine cooling system. So we should also contribute to the wear. Uh, I think it's pointless. Can I just change the engine? That's where I'm looking at. So it's not like about the pist the pistons, the rings, the this thing, you know, saying that was 
That's why I generally the engine. You make you make more sense to just change it, to get something that is much better, and start from the beginning to use the recommended oil. Uh, the of course the thermostat we have we'll put a new thermostat because uh, uh, like I told you said in the video, I didn't even bother to check whether the thermostat. But eventually I asked the mechanic to check anyway, but. Uh, it's, it's expected that the, the, the car won't have thermostat. So, anyway, so that is it. Um, now, what the what I showed you guys does not necessarily mean that's how to tell uh, rings. Well, if uh, the rings is good in good condition, the rings can actually be worn and still um, might not be that too shaky. You know, it's just I want it because that too shaky. Uh, it's possible. I know I've done a video of one that was that bad as if I before I was to press it, I don't even need to mount uh, uh, pressure on the piston. Just press your finger, do it a little. You have go, 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 go. I mean, that, in that case, it's both the pistons, the rings, the cylinder walls, everything are gone. So, um, so in this case, it's not that bad. So, I'm not saying the rings are still okay. Just saying it's much better than most of the ones I've seen, but the rings uh, could also be worn. But it's just that the pieces and cylinder walls have not really been affected. But the ring piston might be affected, but the cylinder was so far um, not that bad yet. So, if not because of the the oil, like I am, like I said, they they have been used on that engine till now. And uh, the condition of the engine cooling system, I would have said change the rings, but uh, I don't think it would make sense for me. I'll just go ahead and get another engine, so that would be my recommendation. But not now, let's start the engine first. It's possible uh, the smoke might go away, or even if it's there a little, so at least the owner can be using it. Maybe it could still serve him a year, two, or more. Uh, so, in terms of which oil we would like Asin to uh, to use going forward, I think I will let him just maintain that 20W50, there's no point. Um, depending when the engine eventually uh, decides to give up. If you serve more than a year, too, what's that about? Well, that's a big plus. Okay, so I just wanted to add this to the video. Um, if there's any other updates uh, that I'll need to point out in the video after the engine has started, then uh, I'll add it. If not, then this is likely the end of the video. All right. Uh, okay, just to update uh, on this um, uh, vehicle. So, the car has started. Uh, well, I'm not there. Um, I wasn't there when the car started and uh, I'm not been there yet so um so but i don't think i need to be there uh, because from what i gather from the owner of the car and uh, the mechanic uh, everything uh, is working well there's a big improvement uh, from the owner the said in fact um it appears the blue smoke has gone completely uh, because according to him even when he accelerated the car uh, uh, stationary, uh, at, uh, you know, when the car is on park, he accelerated it. He didn't even see any blue smoke. He said he saw black smoke coming out from the exhaust and no longer blue. All right, before, even without accelerating the vehicle, I had to just be puffing out uh, bluish smoke. So I told him the black smoke is most likely, remember, uh, there was no catalyst on the car, in fact, including the one under. The car has two catalytic converters, the one on the exhaust manifold and the one under the vehicle. So the one we fixed uh, is the one on the exhaust manifold. So even I showed you when I, we removed that old uh, catalytic converter, black suit all over the place, you know, inside the pipe, exhaust pipe and all that. So it's going to take a while for those black suits to actually go out. Uh, it's possible the one under the catalytic converter, the one that I see empty, um, will still contribute to a little bit of consumption. But at least that one on the exhaust needs to be sorted. So I, I think 
he must have taken care of the blacksmith. So whatever that came out at that time, uh, it's most likely the suit that accumulated um, when the canary converter, the one on the exhaust was absent. So you take a while. So, so the blue smoke, I had mechanic too, I spoke with him and uh, he said, yeah, that he believes the smoke that, in fact, when, you know, because the weather, okay, it's almost dark, I think it's almost after 6 p.m. now, uh, like 6.20 p.m. or 6 p.m. on the dot. So, weather, dark, so Indian cold, so he couldn't tell uh, those small ones that he saw on the tail, whether it's uh, the normal, you know, uh, steam that was coming out from the exhaust. But whatever it, uh, it was, it's not as big as it was before we did that job. So at least now you guys will learn from this. For those who usually have the um, timing belt uh, failure, uh, or they will just go and change only the timing belt. No, change only the valve, damage valve. No, you're supposed to change both the valves and the stem, valve stem cells, not just the valves. Leaving the valves there, the valves to me, me I, because I look at I know how that thing works. Once the valve bent, you know, most likely it has affected the valve stem cells. And besides that, once you remove the cylinder head and you are removing the valve, you all use the opportunity and change the valve stem cells. I understand that it's a case of not putting the original. Uh, says is there, yeah. That case is there. You might end up removing what is good. Uh, regional, let's assume this the says are actually not working. You now go and put new one that will not last, maybe not original new one. Is there, but personally, I would still have to change it. Um, because, um, it's just not the best as engine is getting weaker or uh, engine is aging. Uh, I think that's the right one as engine is aging. And all the robbers inside the engine, outside the engine, they tend to uh, weaken much faster than uh, the, any other, any mechanical. As a well, I mean mechanical, I'm talking of metal. So over time, so if you have opportunity to change any robber on the engine, you just do it. Especially that kind of sensitive part. So, so if you have a timing bed failure and the damage your valves, Change your valve stem cells. They are not expensive and very, very cheap, especially for EW10 J4 and EW10A. They are very, very cheap uh, items. Um, what else? Any other thing to add? Um, so it appears the valve stem cells solve the engine smoke issue. So if your engine is smoking, don't always assume it's your uh, rings. Of course, this one, the rings, I'm not, like I said, it, it has shown sign of wear on the cylinder wall, on the uh, cylinder uh, ball. So it's possible. Uh, it's not a matter of possible. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's for a fact the rings are no longer in good condition as supposed to be as, uh, compared to one that is still very good. Uh, at least it hasn't got that bad to start uh, smoking. Uh, so, like I said earlier, personally, uh, I'll just tell many in that time the rings not get that bad. Uh, just place the engine because I don't even trust the, the other component side the engine, considering that the car has been running. In fact, the car has been abused. The engine uh, was abused with wrong oil. The engine cooling system was also abused, which also deteriorates the engine uh, very fast. So, because, uh, that, to me, there's nothing really to save there. At least this one we did was just to uh, reduce the consumption. Why the, what I mean, because I mean oil consumption. Uh, it was that bad. I mean, we've, as you, as I put, Remember, as I was driving out the other day, I could see big cloud of smoke following him behind from the left. So, 
Okay, I think that sounds that's it now. So I think maybe if I even if there's any other thing to update, I'll probably do a separate video, maybe as part two. Yeah, I'm going to um concerning the engine cool system, I'm going to revert the fan back to factory connection, then uh, put the thermostat and uh, even the radiator, I was discussing the mechanics, the radiator seems to have been repaired uh, before, I don't know what kind of repair they did on it, you know. So the another thing I will add is this, you know, the car, as like I mentioned earlier, was abused by the previous owner and um, even the current owner admitted, yeah, that uh, he didn't even know much. Uh, so probably contributed to the abuse, but now he has learned and um, even today I spoke with him, he has learned a lot doing his research on his own. So, so um, what I'm doing for him is installing the car back uh, as good as possible. So I'm installing it for him, but of course you can enjoy the same thing uh, by doing what he did. Because um, he bought the vehicle, he didn't, uh, wasn't involved in the purchase, uh, the inspection of the vehicle. Probably he didn't inspect, so now he wanted to return. So the only thing there is, if you want me, if you make, if you want to do that uh, kind of transaction or that kind of purchase, you could, you could still go ahead and buy the vehicle. Hopefully the abuse won't be that bad, that severe. So if you buy the car. Yeah, you can see come I bet the only you see pay that consultancy service fee. You just have to pay. Otherwise I won't uh, give you I won't give you that attention at all in terms of uh, repairing of your or restoring your vehicle. So you still have to pay. Right now it's uh, fifty thousand naira at least for five years. I'm even considering to reduce that uh, the, the duration, not necessarily the fee. I'm mean, uh, not thinking of increasing it, but I might reduce it from that five years. Not for those who have paid already, but we say going forward, but I'm yet to update on that. Uh, but at least for now, it's five years, you pay that, bring the vehicle, and look at it. Uh, but however, if it's that bad, if the car is already, um, like, deserved to be scrapped, no, uh, I would rather you hold that your money and go into that. But if the body is okay, you know, a few abuses here and there. Yeah, I'll bring it, I'll pay that money. I'll restore. What I mean, restore, I mean, yeah, I'll be, make out time for your vehicle, with the advice, getting involved, the diagnosis, the repairs. You know, eventually your car will come back to it. It doesn't have to come back to a new vehicle or seemingly new. No. At least something that you could use a peace of mind rather than every day. Remember the one I talked about, the opening the door and then fuel started gushing out. <laughs> the driver's door now became trigger of the fuel pump without even the ignition key uh, on the ignition switch. You know, so those are the things I will, I will sort out for people that have some buying such vehicles. But like I said, you just have to pay that fee. Uh, if you are not waiting, see, it's not a matter of, okay, come, do diagnose this car or for me, I'll pay you uh, one of uh, diagnosis fee. No. Look for other people. I don't have that kind of time. If you want my time, you have to be serious. So you pay for it, you deal with it, and uh, enjoy it. So that's how I run this business. Uh, and I, I know some people who have issue with it, but it's not my problem. Um, so if you're interested, my data is always there on the WhatsApp uh, of my posts, my videos. Uh, we need to answer this call. So. And I said, you know how you can contact me or via my email address. You no, know, we discuss, then if you agree to my terms and conditions, then we'll kick it up. Uh, but I will say advice if you can. Um, you can get me engaged before you buy, buy the vehicle so that you look at, you know, what I like, I always tell people, what I always do, I'll tell you, okay, if you're buying this car, even though it might be abused, this is what it might end up not. Uh, exactly what it will cost you to restore the car. No, this might what it might because once you start to start the restoration, some of the things that we are not seeing during the inspection will be coming up because you know, there are some things that will be hidden. 
wish you can. It may take you days before you will see all of them. In fact, some of them will not be show up, will start the work. As you are moving this part, you now see that, oh, there's another part under it that even broken. Because you, you can, can't see it unless until you move the other. You know, so this are how, that's how it works. Um, for example, that same vehicle, the entire suspensions are gone. Front and rear, everything on that. <laughs> it, it's going to be a big overhaul, you know. So, um, this car is going to be like treated like a project, or not necessarily a project, as in, since we are done with the engine side, that will be the probably the next big uh, repair is going to do. So, those are things I'll give it to you so that if you feel that no, it's going to cost you so much on this car, that I want to wonder, yeah, there will be repairs to be done, but not as much as the, the other one that will cost you probably more than. Uh, the purchase cost to, to refer, to re restore. Yeah, you walk away until you see the one that won't cost you that much. Or you could also go ahead and buy a uh, uh, fix. You know, that's what I mean by doing the inspection first. Getting me involved to do the inspection. But in that case, it will cost more than that 50,000 naira consultant service. Because I have to include the, the, the inspection fee. I was the consultancy service fee. So, so it's all, it all depends, you know. So, basically, that's what I do uh, for in terms of uh, for other people's vet diagnosis and repairs. I don't do all this one off, uh, uh, come and diagnose my car today when I need it again. Come and pay if I know. If you want, you suspend for it. Now, that next five years, you have my attention on your back. You have any, if you have any issue, you want to seek my advice, or I want to, yeah, I'm there, you know. Yeah, if you have any uh, issue that also need me to be involved or do the diagnosis for you myself or involved in the repairs, I'm, I will make out time for that. That's what we agreed on. So as, uh, but if you want, oh no, I want to, uh, if I need you, come, I pay you this fee. Uh, no, no, for somebody else. Okay, so I think that's all for this. Yes.